there are actually houses that we can click and once it is hovered an image shows above it so here's an example and let's try pressing this house it should show house one was pressed and then let's go back and click the other house and it shows house two was pressed so each button has a different label it's just something that a friend requested so i'm just helping out i will also upload this in my hio you can find that in the description maybe let's just create a menu which we've done before let's just copy it um i think it shows screen game ui and then we have our custom screen supposedly yep let's copy paste this to just helping image GUI. so game and paste it here okay now let's customize this um when the stats ui is pressed let's go to the map ui so let's rename this to map ui and let's delete everything here since we won't need them okay so let's try this out first just helping launch the project start uh, start it's happening oh it won't continue because there's no text so let's just say test reload jafar and then start image button yeah so i'm still missing the um the image so let's just copy it first i think it's this one and then let's go back to just helping and then in the images folder we have a ui folder and paste it there reload <laughs> okay so now we have this that's ui and once you click it it should bring to the map map ui which looks like it works because it's showing an error so for this let's use the background that was given to us i think this one yeah okay so let's just copy paste um where should i put it mm, images and then let's just say map yep and let's place everything there okay so we have the images here already and then let's just call this bg map bg map and then let's check the code again then this should be map bg map so map bg map okay and let's try running this start that's uh map bg map that in g file not found hmm? game images map bg map that maybe it's not png but yeah it's jpeg so let's do jpeg and then reload start that uh start shift r that's okay so now the map is showing but uh, once we hover this we want to show the blue stuff which there's actually plenty of this uh as you see there are many houses that are outlined but we'll just do two to demonstrate uh, okay so first let's find out which building this is this looks like this one so we want to position it here for that we have to add an image button and let's say for now let's set the x position to be zero and the y position to be zero if it's idle we want the name to be let's rename this out a uh, house one maybe so map slash house one underscore idle dot png let's add idle or actually this one will be the hovered because it will change to this image now with our 
editor i'm using clip studio paint you can use any tool you want oh it's semi-transparent oh so it should glow that's actually interesting okay okay so i'll just remove this and save another image and save this as idle because um what i did here was grab the same size as the existing image and change it to idle so let's first um do the hover image so this one should be hover and let's change this to hover and we also need the action for now let's set the action to be null i think there is a null action i'm not sure uh huh and let's go back to the main menu shift r we always go back to the main menu because it refreshes everything that is created uh specifically the variables or what we call the flags let's go back to the stats and i think it, oh yeah it's somewhere here because um it ended up in an error um it cannot find the image hover huh that's odd stats over here huh <laughs> it also can't find the image what the am i doing something wrong oh oh okay i think yeah irene the image is oh png that png like that's that's messed up so it should be it should remove that here because it's a duplicate that makes sense i mean why was it named like that oh i think it was because i saved it as that <laughs> anyway Ah, okay so hover house one should i just um i don't know <laughs> retake that so stats and then go here yeah so the house is already there but you want it to be a little bit here uh i can manually just guess the numbers but this would be the optimal thing to do let's get the images and then open the background Let's also open this one and let's set this to another color maybe just another background yeah like this so we can flatten the image and copy paste it here okay and then assuming it's this house let's align it a bit i think it's kind of aligned um doesn't have to be perfect and then let's get this positions yeah now what we have here is an x of 619 18 17 18 618 so let's go back to the code and set the x post to 618 i think <laughs> and then for the y post um let's go actually is this one nine twenty yeah it's one nine twenty i think wait yeah yeah so it's the correct size and then let's go here for the expos it's five hundred sixty six five hundred sixty six so let's just go 566 oops if we reload this and then go to the stats oh see <laughs> and then when you hover it you can see the image and then let's say we want to have an action and maybe it should go to a screen called label um house one pressed and then let's just print house one plus pressed let's also make the house two since we'll also do it in this video okay so we want to jump to a uh, house one press so jump one jump shift r 
start stats and then here and then once we click it, it should be house was pressed it changed to black because it went to this label which doesn't have any background or anything so if we had maybe let's say mm, let's get another background okay so let's say i have a bg classroom and i show bg scene also let's go scene bg classroom so if i did this and let's go back if r start stats and then here once i click this it goes to the label which uh changes the background or chooses the background we should return this we don't want house one to go to house two right after so we should be returning this one okay house one press so let's create the other house and then this should be house two press and then house two and then house two okay so we need to create the idle image for the house two so we have the house two here let's create it first the idle image house 2 and then this should be idle then let's save this okay it's saved let's create the sample one which should be uh, just a mark let's do everything again and let's flatten this image copy uh, let's place it here um where's the image oh should be on top and i don't know which building is this oh it's this one okay 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 so let's just say it's here it's just a rough estimate yeah uh, i suck at estimating but yeah it should be somewhere there um let's use the rulers again it's here and then here so for the expos we have 500 what's this 596 point something so just use 596 so we don't need it to be precise for now oh what happened 596 and then for the y plus which is or is a vertical oh where is it this one it's 160 65.5 maybe oh wait what yeah 165.5 165.5 did we save our changes yep okay and then back to the code shift uh start stats when we hover here it's still here and when we hover oh where is it it's gone it won't are we using the correct image stats ah okay it doesn't accept decimal places so start stats and yeah there you have it can now hover over it and when i press here house 2 was pressed and then when we go back it says house 1 was pressed and that's it hope you guys learned from this tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe